This week I am in St. John in the U.S. Virgin Islands. I am really enjoying my time here, and now that I am back from the States, Mako and I are settling back into a little routine, at least for a couple days. I've just been catching up on editing, considering I could not edit for eight days. So this is Mako's and my first night together. Are you ready for it? He picked up the ball and just stared at me just about two seconds ago. Ready for fetch? Come on. Go get it. You're not being very good at fetch, are you? I missed you. Go get it. Good afternoon. It's been about 24 hours since I talked to you guys last. I had just been editing like crazy. Taking eight days off of work is a lot. I can't tell you the last time I took that long off of work. So I haven't really touched any any boat things. The boat needs a good wash right now. I haven't even touched that. But um, I have to get videos out for you guys and a million other things, so I'm trying to do that. But since I've been editing all day, it's like four o'clock, I need to go do something. So I'm gonna go over to this rock right over here. Jaden and I passed it the other day when we went around the corner to do pictures. There's at least rock and we're gonna go see if there's any coral, but worst case, I get to swim around. So, we're gonna go do that. I wish I could take you. Bye. All right, I had to just jump in. That got so beautiful. So when I went around and started looking at getting in, I noticed the current was ripping out. So like, <laughs> I feel like I'm in the Bahamas again. So the current was ripping out, which is why there's really big waves right here. So I went really inside where I started and I had to get out because this is a, channel but oh my gosh that coral started to get stunning so i'm gonna see what time slack tide is tomorrow and come do it again saw the biggest mutton snapper that i've seen in probably a year um so it's a national park here so we're not allowed to spear um i'm 
Yeah, that may have been 15 minutes max. So beautiful though. And it's actually one thing I've started to love about um, the Virgin Islands I've noticed is just there's little coral reefs right around that are actually in pretty good shape. And it seems that every anchorage has something that you can go see either swim from the boat or a two minute dinghy ride. So I am really loving it here. And I think that's all I can really say at the moment. So I drifted like from way, way over there to here. And my boat is right there. Good afternoon. Um, it's afternoon again. This is showing like how much I'm not doing on doing right now. I am working, but I'm going to go check out that reef that I did yesterday and hope that I can spend a little more time in the deeper water. Uh, so I'm going to go do that. And then when I get back, I'll see what time it is, but I'm going to go do a little hike. <laughs> I just finished that dive, it was great. I saw my first shark in the Caribbean, a nurse shark for about half a second. And yeah, it was. it's just nice to get in the water for 15 minutes even. I'm about to go on a short hike with Clam Shack and Mako. You wanna go on a hike? Hey. He does not wanna go on a hike, but hey. He hasn't worn a harness in a while. He's not too thrilled about it. You think we're gonna sail? Is a hike or a sail worse? What do you think? Good boy. Oh. 
you can drop the lead. <laughs> and then going for it. <laughs> Good boy! You're doing so good! Yeah, you're doing so good! Rock cool. Um, so little hike recap. Mako did amazing. Mako, did you do amazing on the hike? Yeah, you're proud of yourself, huh? He is getting chicken tonight. I'm getting chicken tonight. I'm just making up. This is actually one of my usual or um, I guess go-to meals on the boat. I'll do a pesto with sun-dried tomatoes and goat cheese with protein pasta, zucchini, and chicken. Hike recap, Mako did amazing. And I, there's like backpacks that you can get for like specifically for a cat and clear backpacks so they can still see out. There is lots of hiking the next few years and he did really well. His least favorite part is getting in and out of the dinghy. Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very happy I took him and it was really nice having Kendra there because he's super comfortable with her also. And so we traded off holding the leash and he wanted to be with both of us, so. Good afternoon. So I've been in this bay, the Canil Bay area. Um, it's a really big mooring field. But I've been here a couple days and I just went and got groceries. I only have like two weeks left in the Virgin Islands. So I'm gonna move to, I don't know which bay, either Maho or Watermelon Bay. Whatever there is to do there and then head That was a pretty easy mowing grab. The wind's like 10 to 15 knots, approximately. The secret is lining up and going neutral, like going slow, but not pulling it in neutral till you're like almost right at the ball. So the boat still has momentum enough to like go in a straight line. Um, Cause if you go too slow, the wind's gonna hit the bow and start turning the bow. You always wanna go straight into the wind, fast enough so the bow doesn't like the wind doesn't turn the bow but slow enough that you can grab the mooring I've gained a lot of confidence with, with that that was one of the things I've um, been most concerned about single handling is grabbing the mooring balls
We are going on another hike. Kendra and Carson are about to come grab me and I am taking Mako again. Um, he did really well and yesterday he had a lot of energy so I think he needs it. You just don't know when he's gonna lean over. There we go. Oh, oh, Make up. Look at him. I wonder if they would freak out. They're good yard maintenance. They rip out a ton of grass. I can't. Like we've seen them so many times. Mako, what you doing in there? We got one little hike in before it started raining for the following 36 hours. Francis Bay was beautiful, but with all the rain, I didn't get to explore as much as I wanted to this time around. As always, I appreciate you all watching and I am so excited to continue sharing what I've been up to in the Virgin Islands.